Survivor is once again taking us to the islands of Fiji for another season of the longtime CBS show. And joining me now is a contestant of the brand new season, Maria. Maria, how excited are you for your season to air? I am thrilled, beyond excited. It's been a really, really long wait. And to finally get to see everything in front of us on TV and watch this show with my kids is like, We've been waiting a long time. Yeah, I can only imagine what the wait is like from like coming home from Fiji and waiting for um, the world to see what you experience. So Maria, with the season about to air, we want the audience to get to know a little bit more about you. So tell us about yourself. Uh, I am 48 years old. I am a doctor of physical therapy, um, but I left that career when I became a mom. And um, when I got back into the workforce, I started working as a parent coach. So a lot of people don't know what a parent coach is. Um, basically, I work with an occupational therapist and we teach parents and adults without kids also about your nervous system, about your triggers, things that set you off, things that um, will help you regulate. So when you are triggered, what is it that did that? And how do you come back down? And how do you recognize those triggers in your kids? And so it's not coaching parents how to be parents. It's actually coaching you, teaching you about how do you kind of keep yourself in check so you don't, you know, lose your cool on your kids? Yeah. And, and when your kids lose their cool, what is it that they're experiencing? Hmm. Okay, that's super interesting. What's interesting about you saying that, too, is I feel like you've got a lot of um, varying life experiences. So do you feel like that kind of helps you or is maybe a strength in the game of Survivor? Absolutely. I would say, you know, age is absolutely on my side and experience, right? There's a lot of experiences that I've had in life different careers, stepping away from the workforce, kind of going through transitions of um, being alone or being in a new job or, or away from a job. And, you know, those discomforts and getting used to being uncomfortable in life and different life changes, um, I think is really important to prepping for a game like this where you're going to be uncomfortable with new people like it's a new job, you know? Yeah, and so. I love I love that you say that age is kind of like an upside because I feel like in seasons past, we see a lot of the maybe quote-unquote older contestants come in a little bit more timid because of their age. So that's super, super interesting. Now, something else incredibly fascinating that I found out about you is that you first applied to the show 20 years ago and then, of course, in more recent times. So why did you want to be on the show then and why do you want to be on the show now? I think when the show started, I was obsessed, obsessed with the show. I'm like, this is so cool. You know, all these strangers and they're surviving and they, they're stripped of everything. And, um, you know, I was just a, a huge, huge fan. And I applied in my late twenties and, um, with no luck whatsoever. And then life just got in the way. Like, you know, I met my husband, we had children and, you know, kind of shelved the dream for a while. Mm -hmm. Um, and so during COVID, when there was nothing to do, we were sitting at home, like, what else can we watch? And for some reason, Survivor came back and I'm like, oh my gosh. And so we watched, I mean, I watched every season. The kids watched a bunch with me. And I remember my husband looked at me, he's like, you could definitely do this and yeah. you should apply again. I was like, I should apply again. <laughs> <You should. laughs> yeah. Well, and it's crazy how things in life just work out at the right times, right? So um, something else that's super interesting that I've seen that you said kind of in your intro video that Survivor released was that Survivor is a must for you. Why do you feel that way and kind of what does that mean for you? What that means is, um, you know, there are a lot of things in our lives as I would say parents, maybe adults in general, but from my perspective as a mother, um, but I would say fathers as well, is you put your family in front of you. You put your children in front and, and you become like here on the totem pole, right? You eat the leftover mac and cheese off of your kids' plates, but you don't sit down for a proper meal mm. because you should be making sure your kids are fed and you should be tending to this and, you know, whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. And I think for after so many years, I realized that like there are dreams that I have and I don't have to just do what everyone else thinks I should do or I think I should do. You know, it's time to kind of peel back the layers of the onion and be like, what are, what are the musts? What are the things that give me passion? 
And I just pulled that thing off the shelf. I'm like, this is it. This is my time. I'm in the right mindset to do this thing. And so it, that's why it is, it's a must for me. Yeah. And now is the time. Life's an adventure. So you have to go and do the things that you want to do. Something else I really love about you, Maria, is that you're very open about being an immigrant. And you um, have said that, you know, as a younger kid, you kind of struggled with identity and quote unquote being different. But now kind of um, in your older part of life, you love being different. You wouldn't want to be quote unquote normal or anything like that. So why is that important to you? And have you also seen that? Or did you feel like maybe that was an asset going into the game? I think that, you know, in growing up being Lebanese, being from Beirut, um, I never got to put, you know, born in the U.S. on anything. You know, there was this sort of stigma that I had mm. of just feeling different. And whether people were making me feel that way, it was something I was feeling. I just never felt like I fit in and was always embarrassed of who I was, mm -hmm. really. Um, and it wasn't until my father passed that I was like, well, shoot, like, this is who I am. Mm -hmm. He is, and my parents are, like, they formed me into this woman that I am today. They gave me the work ethic. They, you know, they instilled in me that determination and perseverance. And um, and I think it was at that time that I started to think to myself, I'm so proud of who I am. Yeah. Who I am is because of my parents. Who I am is because of the upbringing that I have had and the trials I've gone through because I was different. Yeah, I mean, accepting yourself takes a lot, but it's really important. So Maria, um, back to kind of the game of Survivor, what makes you best fit to achieve quote unquote soul survivor status? I would say that there have been many times in my life where I have kind of veered away from structure, stability, and control, mm -hmm. right? And that's something that like my boss says is we strive for structure, stab stability, and control. And when you don't have that, that's what you really, when you really see what you're made of. Mm -hmm. And so childbirth, childbirth for me, right? Like you might have this plan and you have these dreams and you have these goals, but there is no control when it comes to that. Mm. And so, you know, whether it's it's having children or moving states or countries or careers, you know, you you just throw yourself into these situations and your ability to adapt and your ability to persevere um I think that that's really important and that's that life experience and it's the age and you know and it's it's that not having the fear of taking that leap. Yeah, yeah. Maria I'm so excited for everything you said. I'm excited to see how you do on this upcoming season of Survivor. But if our viewers want to keep up with you online, how can they keep up with you throughout the season? So I am still learning technology. <laughs> okay. So, but I am on Instagram. Um, I do have a public profile it's at Dr. Maria S. Gonzalez with the Z at the end. Um, that's my public profile and that's where I'll probably post most of my survivor content. All right, perfect. Then keep up with you on Instagram then. Maria, thank you so much. We really appreciate it for all of our viewers. Survivor season 46 Wednesday on CBS. Do not miss it.